back in March last year, I had a Zoom meeting with John Persink about this possibility of doing a portrait of him. And during our conversation, I uh, told him that I did winter bathing and um, he should try it. His response was kind of like, Ugh. So I'm going to give John a rendition of my call out wrap in the water and see how far I get before I think it's too cold. When I first discovered John Pizzik, I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. He most through the young guy, tried to see, and Ryan Bowen thought it was amazing. His big baggy dad shirt, glasses and grey hair were surely hiding some kind of truth that was out there. See, can you shall find it says in the big book, so I typed in his weird name and searched on YouTube a match against the Hulk. Then as the blanks of was the first suggestion YouTube would think of. Little guy to the left, big guy to the right. Surely this wouldn't end up being much of a fight after much twiddling of thumbs. In the setup, the ref said, go, they slipped apart and got strapped up. They go once again, the different thing puts the brakes so the big guy chucked the pool, but he couldn't seem to do anything. I sat back confused, the little guy won. Then his arms were huge, but the little guy won. A search or two more would show if this was an arm. And that's when I realized he's the perfect star. But the star was retired, and my interest waned. Till his comeback last year saw my attention regained. The cool to Chen Shaw, Kit Chan and Paul Lin. Down the rabbit hole I went, wearing YouTube thin. Now he dominated on this link with 30 plus years. A legacy like years beyond his peers, the enigma of Cam and a humble guy. No apparent ego, just a fire in his eye. Now my conscience was plagued by the hours I'd spent watching every YouTube video with John to sing. Then an idea came to mind that might redeem the time and make it all worthwhile. The strategy was to fly. I will call John out and dare him to face me, even though I know he's just an arm wrestler. <laughs> Even though I know I'm just an arm wrestler rookie, the challenge is huge. This guy is high class, but I think I can do it. Put his face on the canvas. Ooh. Okay. So you type, you're delusional to think you can win. You maybe think I want to try to go for a pin, but that's not the case before you give me some paint. I'm talking about painting the goat's portrait. So please hear me out. I'm a fighter at heart and I don't know the truth to son. Trade. So please hear me out. I'm a fighter at heart and I ain't backing down till I produced some art about this airplane mechanic and family man who threw his hundreds of trophies and trinkets in the trash can. So Denmark is calling on John and Renee to visit Copenhagen Power Poolers en route to Norway. Please don't feel awkward. But keep it low key, though you've inspired thousands and you've inspired all of me. Okay, that's enough. I wondered if I might have started to muddle up my words, uh, considering it was cold. But not too bad. Just, just the only thing went, that went wrong was one attempt at saying that I knew that I was a, an arm wrestler rookie and ended up saying that John was a, a, an arm wrestler rookie. That would be a bit wrong. Anyway, it's... Time for me to get home.